Remember I named you Mr. Saint? I named my rival Mr. Saint. Oh, uh, yeah, this... Yeah, that sleazeball. Yeah. Oh, that's you too! Look at that! <laughs> <laughs> that's how you should open this video. And what's what's up, guys? Uh, welcome to Pokemon Academy Life. I almost said Pokemon Art Academy. This is a fan main game based on characters from the Pokemon franchise. It is not to be purchased or sold for monetary reasons. Please support Pokemon franchise by purchasing its games and related media. That's perfect for you, bro. Thank you. Right. At first, I wasn't so sure. Why? But once I got on that bus and the engine started humming, the air brakes released and the <laughs> other passengers started yapping away, dozing off, dozing off, blasting their music through headphones that might as well not be there. I knew this wasn't a dream. After six years, I left Palatown, that little village in the south western pocket of Kanto. I was headed for the Kobukan region, a piece of land that's farther from home than I thought. In front of me was Kobukan Academy, the place where this new chapter of my life will begin. Mm. Oh wow, that looks like it's gonna be a paragraph. <laughs> Finally free, I take a much anticipated moment to stretch my limbs out after remaining glued to a bus seat for over 10 hours. My knees Blue. creaked as if I were 50 years past my prime. Well, that's no good. The Why sounds not? of... Uh, shut the fuck up. Uh, We're trying to make commentary so it's not <laughs> just you reading, you <laughs> fucking douche. <laughs> the sounds of other new arrivals <laughs> <laughs> soon <laughs> fill the air, redirecting my focus. The atmosphere is a healthy blend of curiosity and excitement from the students who have made their own journeys here. Turn up. The atmosphere just reminded me of that one thing from Spongebob. It's the food! The oh. atmosphere! Food! Water! Water! Atmosphere! atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, <I laughs> well, I'm unfamiliar with these surroundings. A prickling but desirable chill shoots up and down the back of my spine. Adrenaline is coursing through my veins now. I just can't help but dive and immerse immerse myself in this unique sensation. So is he just like standing here saying all this shit out loud? Just looking. <laughs> <laughs> like people are walking past him. They're like, what the fuck? <laughs> my eagerness builds up, and I can't catch myself dazed in a rapidly spreading goofy smile. What if this is just like what everybody does when they get <laughs> off the bus? They like they get off the bus and everyone. Finally, just we're out. Yeah, no, and, no, everybody gets off the bus and it's like, at first I wasn't sure. <laughs> <laughs> I pat both the sides of my face to bring myself back to reality. Oh, so he is just standing there. <laughs> it's a good thing I got some sleep on the bus. Is he saying that out loud? This is confusing. Yeah, this is out loud now, I think. Uh, I was imagining all the different people I'll soon meet, different Pokemon I'll, I'll be able to see, train, so he's saying that out loud. What the fuck? learn about. I mean, hey, that's the entire point of coming here. Daydreaming, the number one time waster. But still, long ride aside, I have to admit, I'm liking the look of this place already. You've been no standing in the same place for 20 minutes. <laughs> no point standing around. So he has been just standing around. I stretch my, <laughs> I stretch mightily one more time before picking up my two cases of luggage. I have to sneeze. Okay. I don't have a whole lot on me, just the essentials. Wait, time out. Two cases of luggage is a lot of luggage. <laughs> I don't have a what whole lot. What do you lot mean you me. don't have a whole lot? You have two suitcases. Oh. All my belongings in tow. Head over. I head toward the main entrance. Bitch. Okay. Head over the main entrance of what I believe to be the res residence hall. It's a short walk past entrance gates, so I cut down my stride. I like to take in as much of the sight as I can whenever there's an opportunity. But whether I like it or not, taking the science... Who's that guy? I don't know. <laughs> he just appeared out of nowhere like, hey, Yeah, babe. I was gonna say, what the fuck? Hey, babe. <laughs> you wanna come over to my pallet town? You come here often? <laughs> <laughs> Taking the science route, we'll have to wait until another time. 
The building's mechanical doors automatically swing open upon my approach. Is Ooh. that you? What? Nope, that's just it's not gonna be explained. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Oh, I, that's I'll, I'll, I'll read. Yeah. Hiya! Welcome to Relic Hall, one of the three residence halls of this esteemed academy. He looks like the guy who um, who like greets you when you go into a gym. He's like, "Yo, champ in the making." That guy. Yeah. Anyway, your name is... A clown greeted me as soon as I got into the building. Fuck you. <laughs> I assume he's some tour guide that's staff here. I'll play along. What's your name? Press enter. No! Ah! So I see, so you're... Red. For Professor Oak wouldn't stop talking about you. It was kind of creepy. Have you met up with him, Champ? Oh my god, I think he is the guy from the gym. Yeah. Uh, Champ? Wait, was I supposed to meet up with Professor before coming here? Douche! Weird. I don't remember him telling me anything about that. So I guess you were the guy who kind of randomly appeared behind the text. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. He's got his hands full without looking out for me. Seriously, he never runs out of things to do re to research. What's next? More Pokédex updates? Evolution theory? He's getting old. Shouldn't he start taking it easy? I actually... No, not yet. Hey, no worries. He's a busy man. We all know it. Today, especially with all the students m and media hustling and bustling through. If you know what I mean. So this is in your head, and when the text like that says red appears above your name... I say that loud. Yes. Alright. This hollow guide scenes on top of things. Thank you. And he's right about Professor Oak. I'm sure Pattown's on the map because that's where the professor's research lab is. At least that's the only reason that I can think of. He's a, he's one of the biggest celebrities in the Cantor region, so I'm not surprised this place begged him to teach you. Okay, time out. Since yeah. when is a professor of like animals that you can find literally everywhere famous <laughs> oh, okay but he caught me way off guard when he asked me to attend this academy it didn't even make any sense i mean why me i've never pa been past ridden city on my own before and i've only seen big cities like saffron and Celadon. On TV. So wait, he's 16 and has never left the village. On his own. The fuck? Mama's over, right? Yeah, I was about to say, he's like <laughs> fucking, fucking live a little. <laughs> I had to accept the offer though. I couldn't stand being cooped up in Palatown any longer. By the way, champ, it's first come, first served for rooms here. That makes no sense. You better find a roommate before the other students start checking in. Because if you don't, you might not have a room and have to sleep outside. <laughs> You've got some time, but I say you you get started pronto. Plenty of other freshmen are gathered in the main lounge towards le left down the hall. Might be a good idea for you to, sh to check there first. Feel free to leave your luggage here. We'll store it and bring it to your room once you're ready. I thought it was first come, first served to room. How do they know which room you're going to be in? That's convenient. Thanks. Welcome. You leave your belongings with the guide. You steal Let's something. Let's see. There's a lot of commotion coming down that the hall. It must be the main lounge. Yeah, that's what he just fucking said. Is this it? No. This is a cafeteria. Well, well. Oh no. Not here. Not now. Right. <laughs> God damn it. I, no, I got a, I got the best voice you. <laughs> Look what the Dell Caddy dragged in. Great. Fantastic. Blue. Yeah, okay, this guy's the grandson of the great Professor Oak. Also, he's a Pokemon prodigy or whatever, and yeah. We're the same age, so people won't stop comparing the two of us. And of course, we also grew up in the same town, and we're just so lucky to see each other's face every single day. I like to think he's saying this outside, and Blue's just like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> like, Blue actually thought they were friends, and he's just, like, poking fun at him. <laughs> but Blue, 
This guy might have an unhealthy obsession. He's been on my case ever since we were kids. It's like his only reason for living is to one-up me on everything I do. As usual, you're a step behind. Did you just get here? I can see it now. Running after the bus, tears streaming down your face, and I was even nice enough to send you a wake-up call this morning. You'll never get ahead of me at this rate. <laughs> we were on the same bus. <laughs> <laughs> Do that one. Blue, you greeted me when I got on the same bus, as you remember? Intuition In increased. Yay! Oh, yeah? Well, yeah, of course I remember, you idiot. What, do you think I'm stupid or something? Take a little blue response. Ugh. I had a nickname for him when we were kids. What was it again? Dick Snoz. Uh, type oh, in. type. Yeah. Okay, um... Uh... Ooh, okay. Dickhead. <laughs> Dickhead! Where is... Where are you typing? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Twat. <laughs> okay. No, name him Miners. So that it's actually me. Miners... Kicks. Twat. If it, no, if it fits, kicks. <laughs> Miner's Kicks. Alright! No, I used to call him Miner's Kicks. God, if you went around calling me Miner's Kicks, I would punch you in the fucking <laughs> face. Hey, anyway, kicks. the important thing is that you're late, and the v and the best rooms are getting reserved left and right. That's not what the fucking other guy told me. That's what he said, yeah. Don't tell me. You haven't even found a roommate yet. Don't tell me it's from you. True. A lot more people got, got here earlier than ex I expected. Definitely, I'm right on time, but it looks like a bunch of others decided to show up before they recommended checking hours. I wonder if Miner's Kicks here already picked out Rumi. Yeah, uh, I, I did. Can't. <laughs> I can't believe I'm even considering him to be my roommate. Ditch. No, ask him. Asking out of curiosity wouldn't hurt, right? Right. Yeah, I, I'm looking for some for roommate. How about you? <laughs> yeah, okay, Red. Don't even try to lump me with you. You think a guy like me would, wouldn't have found a roommate by now? I'm just here to see if there's anyone with as much talent as I have. Speaking of which, you're holding me up. I've got better things to do. What a dick. <laughs> Thank you. Don't waste too much time, pal. Smell you later. I guess it's time to look around. There are so many students in the lounge. I don't even know where to begin. You I might want to end this event. episode. Shh, let me finish this. Look at the time. I know. This. <laughs> okay. Let me read this, and okay. then it'll be done. I'm at a disadvantage here. Pilot Town's a small place, so if there's anyone else besides Blue and me here, I'd know beforehand. And there's really no one I can recognize. Try, to, try not to appear like an awkward creep, because I have a feeling the longer I stare at crowds, the more likely that'll happen. I casually stroll alongside the edge of the lounge to see who I can approach for this whole roommate business. I bet someone like Dawn's gonna be the first one. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. It seems like many students have already gotten themselves acquainted with each other before I got here. And judging by the fact that it's mostly guys talking to guys and girls talking to girls, they're likely for the same reason as I am. I am. I'm sure the longer I wait, the more difficult it will be for me to strike up conversation. Alright, uh, we'll end it here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out Phil's channel in the description below. Hey. And have a good day. You too.